This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related, and today we have a pretty exciting video because we just saw a first glimpse of what we can expect from next generation games. In case you haven't heard, Unreal Engine 5 has officially been revealed and they showcased it through gameplay running on a PlayStation 5. Now I need to point out that this is a tech demo for Unreal Engine 5 and is not officially a game that will ever see the light of day. That said, we do know it is gameplay. Digital Foundry even confirmed themselves that this was meant to be playable at the GDC event on the PlayStation 5 itself. Now before I keep on going about this engine, I need to point out why exactly I'm talking about it on this channel. I've been talking a lot about the PlayStation 5, but what exactly does that have to do with Stadia? While yes, this unveiling has a lot to do with the PS5 and there's a lot of correlation between the two going on in discussions, this isn't exclusive to the PS5 whatsoever. And frankly speaking, I think it's pretty ridiculous to just see how many people out there are using this as some sort of ammunition for the next gen war when most games run on Unreal Engine that means we can expect this level of visual fidelity everywhere. So no matter whether you're a PlayStation, Xbox, Stadia, or even Nintendo user, everyone should be excited for this because as long as hardware can maximize its potential, it's gonna be insane. Either way, let's get back to the demo and let's talk about the environment detail because the majority of the textures in this tech demo are using Quixel Megascan assets. I'll be putting a link in the description below that gives you a more in-depth rundown on what this is, but basically teams go around the world scanning objects and locations and then use them for real-time photorealistic assets. This technique isn't necessarily anything new, a lot of movies already use this, but this is the first time you'll be able to use movie quality assets in-game and that's really really mind-blowing. I mean, just looking at the video, the thing that stands out the most to me has to be the character model because everything around it just looks so damn good. I've already read a ton of opinions out there stating that this is just a tech demo and won't be representative of what we should expect from next gen games, but reality is is that it probably is. To illustrate my point, let's rewind back and let's go back to the start of the PS4 era. This was the tech demo that Unreal Engine 4 showcased. Honestly speaking, looking back at this, not only did games match that level of fidelity, but they easily surpassed it. Games like Gears of War 5 or the upcoming The Last of Us 2 easily blow this showcase tech demo way out of the water. For this reason alone, when we fast forward back to Unreal Engine 5, there's little to no doubt that I'm sure this will be achievable and also surpassed. That said, I definitely think there are some issues that need to be overcome. For example, storage space. I'm very curious to see how this will work out. Now luckily, for Stadia users and other cloud platforms, this isn't much of an issue since we're not storing the actual data locally. We don't have to concern ourselves with knowing just how much storage space is left on our SSD because that's something Google will handle on their end. I mean, just think about the games we have this generation. Plenty of them already take up over 100 gigabytes each. Look at Modern Warfare taking up almost 200. It'll be interesting to see how this all plays out because I'm sure that next generation games will be using much more space for all those higher resolution textures. The next issue is one that's specifically for Stadia, and that's the fact that the server blades definitely need to be upgraded to actually maintain this level of performance. We certainly know that Stadia Gen 2 is on its way, but the question is, how long will it take to get here? I recently talked about it in a previous video, and I have to say I was a bit surprised by the comments because it seems most people are expecting it to happen alongside the next gen launch, and we really don't have a guarantee that that's going to be the case. Now personally, as much as I would love for it to happen alongside that launch, I actually don't mind waiting up to a year. That's simply because this coming year, I feel like most of the titles will be cross-generation anyway. And if they can hold out a bit longer and get some better hardware than that of which is available in the Xbox Series X, I think it would be a pretty big deal. Either way, what I think matters most is that Stadia gives us a bit of an update or a roadmap on when to expect this sort of thing to happen. At the very least, a time frame would be very welcome, simply because I don't want people getting the false narrative that it's going to happen day of when the next gen consoles launch. 
And if it is happening around that same time, it would also be very positive news and I'm sure it would be very welcome to the majority of Stadia users. Imagine Google being able to say you can have that next gen visual fidelity without any upfront cost other than the game, that would be massive. But what I think matters most is that Google gives us a bit of a roadmap in their upcoming Stadia Connect that's supposed to be happening this summer. Because if it doesn't happen, I can easily see it really deflating a lot of the momentum Google Stadia has slowly been building up. Either way, it'll be up to Google to decide how this happens, but I'm very curious to see how they handle it. Do let me know what your predictions are for when we'll see Stadia Gen 2 in the comments section below. Let's move away from the issues now, because there is one more very important aspect about this Unreal Engine 5 tech demo that I want to discuss a little bit. And that's what they're calling the Lumen Global Illumination System. This really produces some very impressive lighting, and the more important part about this is that it's not directly related to ray tracing. In fact, they can both be used together to provide even better looking visuals, but it is very interesting to see how this is going to work. This system certainly sounds like it's easier to run than ray tracing, but I would love to see a comparison between the two and see just how much is lost here. It also doesn't seem like lumens can handle reflections and shadows the same way ray tracing can, which is why it may be best used in conjunction with each other. But all in all, I was seriously impressed by this showing, and honestly it's made me more excited for next generation gaming than I've ever been before. I understand it'll still be a few years before we really start to see this being taken advantage of, but on that note, everyone should be excited. As I stated earlier in the video, this isn't something that just Xbox and PlayStation owners looking to buy a new console should be happy or excited for, this is something that's going to affect the gaming landscape as a whole. Anyways, that sums up pretty much everything I wanted to say about the Unreal Engine 5 tech demo, but there are a few other announcements that got made today that really might have a big impact on Stadia, but I'll be covering that in a separate video. If you did enjoy this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to hit that like button because it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. Today's end of video message is going to be another question, and I'm just wondering, are you impressed by this tech demo, or were you hoping for something more? You've already heard my thoughts on it, and I'm very excited to hear yours. As always, thank you for watching, this has been Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related. The Gen S community is over 3,900 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds. Okay.